Well, look around and you're likely to see a lot of trends from the 1990s making a comeback, including Doc Martens and high-waisted denim. CDs are also back in fashion, but not the compact disc variety. We're talking about certificates of deposit, a place to park your savings and earn some interest. Arkansas Business has looked at the resurgence of bank CDs, and editor Lance Turner is here with more. Lance, what are the certificates of deposit and why are they hot again? Well, it all has to do with high interest rates. You know, we've all felt the sting as the Federal Reserve has been raising those interest rates in an effort to tamp down inflation and cool down the economy. But one area where you can actually benefit from that strategy right now are these certificates of deposit or CDs. These are time deposit accounts, places where you can park your money for a set amount of time and then earn interest on those dollars. Until recently, CDs have paid very little interest. I mean, we're talking about stuff in the 0.2 five percent range but now if you drive around town you'll see banks advertising cds that pay around a five percent annual yield and those are rates that we have not seen since the 1990s or the early 2000s that's a pretty good deal so banks are basically paying more to earn your deposits why is this good for banks well, we talked to Amy Morbeck, who's an executive at Arvest Bank in Bentonville, and she said it's cheaper for banks to use higher interest CDs to bring in deposits than it is for the bank to borrow money, usually at a higher rate from the Federal Reserve itself. See, banks need your deposits in order to make loans. And right now, according to the FDIC, bank deposits are in decline. So banks need to get that money into their systems. And if they can do it cheaply, they can also offer loans to customers at a lower interest rate. So are banks having success with these CDs? Well, the short answer so far is yes. Uh, Amy Morbeck tells us that Arvest has seen a 42% increase in CD purchases since the fourth quarter of 2022. And that's giving banks a more stable uh, uh, tranche of deposits to work with because customers' money will stay in those CDs for whatever period that you've bought that CD in, six months, a year, whatever. Uh, and then for customers, it's a good conservative kind of investment strategy, right? Because you put in X amount of dollars and then at the end of the CD period, you're going to get that amount back plus the interest that you earned. And a very simple way to earn interest at that. Thank you, Lance. Good information as always, and thank you for your time. Of course, you can read more about the resurgence of high-yield CDs at ArkansasBusiness.com.